Fantastic. Your headliner coming to the stage. You've seen her on Showtime, heard her on KFI. Show some love for Monique Marvez. Which is exciting, and uh, and there's a lot of ladies in here. If you're a lady, make some noise. <laughs> he told me that there was an event, and that makes me so happy uh, for a multitude of reasons. Because when you're a young woman, young women aren't nice to each other. They're just not. They look at each other like they just ate a bad shrimp. They're like, you know, they're judgmental. They're mean. They're competitive. When you get to be a certain age, when you just chill, when you're comfortable in your own skin you realize there's not a man in the world that can't be replaced by a winning lotto ticket and a water pick. <laughs> so funny, you're smiling, but you're like, what's the water pick for? I, uh, what, what's your name, sir? Clavin? Clemens. Clemens. That's a good name. Clemens, um, I don't know if you believe this, but women are actually hornier than men. Do you believe that? So calm down, ma'am. <laughs> this lady's like, I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I, uh, did, did you know that, Clemens? No, well, we are. I know you don't believe that, and I'm looking right at you. You look like you touch yourself like a death row inmate. No, you do. No, you can see he's got that devious smile. He's got the look, Clemens. But no, uh, seriously, women are hornier than men. We're just horny differently. Like, men are horny all the time. Like, you have an egg timer down there going like, like it's going to ring. Women are horny in waves, Clemens. You got to learn to surf a chick. You know what I mean? You got to... You can tell, this lady, I love the look on your face. You're like, that's so true. None, nothing I say is jokes, ma'am, just so you know. I, uh, I tell the truth and wrap it in bacon so people will eat it. I just want people to be happy. I just tell the truth because I want people to be happy and the truth really does set you free. I tell people if you operate under the premise that women are crazy and complicated and men are simple and delusional, your life gets instantly wonderful and uh, you know, I wish these were jokes. You're looking at me like, well, that's not very positive. I'm not crazy. Uh, yeah, you are. You're just in denial. I, uh, what's your name, pretty girl? Anna. Very nice to meet you. Are you Latina, Anna? Me too. I'm from Miami, the capital of Cuba. <laughs> and here's the thing, Anna. When I tell people I'm Latina on the West Coast, it's a whole different experience. You're like, you don't look Latina, and I don't know what that means. You know what I mean? I'm tall, I'm fair-skinned, my car insurance is paid in full. What are you talking about? You know, like, what, what's the issue, Anna, you know? But it's because people don't realize that all nationalities and cultures have variety. You know, English people aren't the same as Flemish people, or I don't even know what Flemish people are, to be honest with you. I just know they're like over there by France or something like that. But, but you know what I mean? Like, they're different. Western European countries are very diverse and very different. They're not the same. Latinos, for instance, my grandfather was Cuban, very, very prideful, Cuban. My grandmother was Puerto Rican, different, completely different. You would think, oh, they're the same. They're Caribbean islands. And no. They used to fight constantly over who had the better island, like it mattered. And they would pick on each other. My grandfather would ask my grandmother, Pura Nieves, that was her name, Pure Snow. She had zero sense of humor. <laughs> Names are important. If you name a little girl Pura Nieves, and she's Catholic and Hispanic in the 20s, no fun, right? As opposed to like a Tammy in the 80s, total slut. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> names are important. All Ambers are going to spin around a pole eventually. You know, and, uh, names... Names are important. Names are important. I love that my name is Monique. I do. It was, I'm a character in a book. It's a fancy name. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's not like a hooker name. It's like a call girl that takes credit cards. You know what I mean? It's a, no, it's a fancy name, Anna. I love my name. Monique Marvez. No middle name. I love my name, Anna. So, yeah, my grandfather, Carlos, would ask my grandmother, Pura. He'd say, Pura, why aren't there any Puerto Ricans on the Starship Enterprise? And she would say, you know, say Carlos, por qué? And he'd say, because you don't intend to work in the future either. You see how that, you see? Yeah, 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 yeah. Controversy. <laughs> you like that one, I'm glad. Yeah, no, so it's interesting culturally how different people are, you know? Even if you're from a similar place or a kind of similar place, people can be very different. And, it's, and, and I have to tell you, I think the worst prejudice in the world is ageism. You get to be a certain age, and people just start making pre... Let me just tell you, clap if you're under 30. Clap if you're under 30. All right, what's your name, pretty girl? Look, you guys are like, yeah, good for you. Good for you. Well, what's your name, pretty girl? Lacey. Lacey. Of course it is. <laughs> uh, of, of, of 
course it is, Lacey. Did you catch that, Anna? Lacey, okay. Okay, so you're under 30, Lacey. I'm gonna tell you right now, here's a little trick God's gonna play on you, Lacey. You're never gonna think you're old. Old is always 20 years older than however old you are. Like old people watch the Today Show to see that special feel good story about the 105 year old person <laughs> in, in Alabama. I'm serious, like, like your parents think they're cool, Lacey. Like I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're young and your parents say, call us, let us know where you are. Let us know when you're getting home. It's not because they give a rat's ass if you're in a car wreck. They don't care. It's because they don't do it that often. And they want to know when you're going to come home because they're naked in the jacuzzi. They don't want you. Viagra's expensive, you know what I mean? Once your dad takes the pill, he wants to know. Yeah, yeah, it's not a pretty thing for you to think, but I'm going to tell you right now, you know, you, I'm looking at the two of you. You probably get your son's old Hot Wheels tracks and spank each other, you know what I mean? Like, I can... <laughs> I'm telling you, it's, it's not what you think, you know? I mean, it, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing. I love being older. I wouldn't want to be 25 or 35. There's, there's like three disadvantages to being older for me. Three, that's it, three. Number one, you're counting them. Number one, ma'am, I'll tell you one of the disadvantages. I can't wear vintage clothing anymore. I love vintage clothes. I'm a thrifter, vintage shopper, always was. When you wear vintage clothes and you're a certain age, people think you're the original owner. That pisses me off. They're like, that old bitch dry cleaned her clothes. You know what I mean? Like, that makes me mad, Anna. I don't like that. I, I got this dress at Forever 21 because they don't have Forever 38. So I, uh, I, I bought this dress new. So that's number one. Yes, you're counting. The number two thing about being older is that you miss things. You actually do miss things. There's things in the past that you miss. Anna, you will miss things. Like for instance, you don't have the problem because I'm looking at you, sir. You've got facial hair, baseball cap, slight pop belly jeans. No, I like it, I like it. You're a man, you're a man. What's your name, sir? JJ. JJ, of course it is. I, uh, it's a perfect name for a man. JJ, I miss men like you in man pants. You know what I mean? Like jeans with a fly and a button. You know, I live in the middle of Hollywood. Right? They wear, they wear skinny jeans. Like, what is that? A grown ass man in jeggings? You're not supposed to be wearing jeggings. Blue leggings with your little moose knuckle hanging out. I don't want to see that. That's not man pants. You're not supposed to have stretch in your pants. You're a man. You're supposed to have pants like you, sir. Like, like something out of like Laverne and Shirley pants. You know what I mean? Like pants. Pants with pockets in your wallet bulging in the back. You know what I mean? Like a man. You're not supposed to have stretch. Women have children. Women have the stretch marks. They get the stretch pants. I don't want you in stretch pants. If you're a grown ass man, wear man pants. Like I know it's a different world now, JJ. I know not everybody's like you, like a man. You know what I mean? I know men do yoga. I get it, but I don't want to see that shit. Okay? I want to see you in my yoga pants. If you have anything on your body named Lululemon, it better be a French hooker. I don't want to see. If you're a man. If you're a man wearing Lululemon, I don't want to see you at 11.30 in yoga pants at Whole Foods deciding what to get out of the salad bar. That's not manly. Like, there's a double standard. I agree, there's a double standard. Women have lived by a double standard. That cuts both ways. Let me tell you something right now, man. Let me tell you something right now. I, I am a vegetarian. I don't trust men vegetarians. I don't like it. You're supposed to eat meat. You're supposed to eat meat and potatoes and starch. You're not supposed to count calories or care about being healthy. I don't want you to have fussy table manners and order stuff on the side. I don't want that. I want you to eat like you're on naked and afraid. I want you to... I don't want you to be fussy. I don't like fussy. It's not manly. And I, and I don't want you to be perfect. I don't want you to be perfect. I don't have six pack abs. I don't know when the war on hair started either. I like the hair, JJ. It's working the hairy arms. You're not clipped up. You're not waxed. You're a man. I think it started with lasers. You know what I mean? When they, when they did away with, la they, they got lasers going, right? And then they're like, hmm, what does everybody have? Hair. Let's convince them that hair is bad. And then we can use these lasers and charge them. And now everybody's all lasered up. Everybody's lasering everything, right? The dudes are all shiny. I don't want that. I want you to be a man. I don't want you to have manscaping. You know what I mean? Like, take, take some scissors once in a while. 
but I don't want it fancy. That takes up too much time. That's narcissism. When a man drops trouser, it should look like a buzzard hanging out of his nest on a cliff wall. I don't want you all perfect. I want you all six-pack abs, hairless, shiny. If you spend that much time working out and waxing and oiling and cleaning yourself up, you don't have time to fix my car. 